Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. We are starting out today on a little Eden run and as you can clearly see, I have started with the R key. I did a few restarts to see if we can get anything interesting and the R key popped up. I'm not going to turn that down. Pretty beautiful opportunity with only one red heart. It's a little scary, but I'm willing to give it a go. We also got Antigrav, which I quite like for the extra fire rate. And I just want to quickly go over something for this episode. Ooh, Side Onion's pretty good here as well. I just want to go over something for this episode. So I'm actually using something that might in theory, remove lag from Isaac, like permanently, forever, like all lag, which is insane. Basically, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but recently on Steam there's been a new bit of software that's released over the past few months called Lossless Scaling, and essentially it allows you to use like DLSS and FSR and stuff um, on, I, th I, I believe it works on pretty much any card, but I've got a 4090 so it supports it very heavily, and it essentially allows you to use a... Um, a scaler, like a, being able to downscale the game and then upscale it again back to the full resolution in order to give you a lot more FPS and um, I am currently playing this game at 240 FPS with no visual fidelity reduction at all from what it looks like to me at least um, and no, normally Isaac only ever runs at 60, like it literally cannot physically go above 60 uh, in the actual game. So I'm, I'm curious to see how this works. It might not work in the way that I'm thinking it will. Uh, so we, we've got to test it out and see how positive it ends up being. Ooh, tears down there's a bit rough, but we got a good amount of tears up, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's potentially... Potentially, I did some testing. I gave myself the old lag machine. Whenever I want to test what my lag's like, if I'm using new mods or anything, I give myself um, soy milk. Can this guy? Yeah, get out of here. Thank you. I give myself soy milk, um, tech zero, tiny planet, and uh, the parasite, and basically just create a storm of electricity, which guarantees to lag the game. So that gives me a good idea of how much lag my game's currently got based on my mods and stuff. And normally with the with the way that I've got my mods set up right now, I normally get down to about 35, 40 FPS. And that's basically a telling sign of if I'm on an OP run, what my FPS is going to end up looking like. With this, I only go down from 240 to about 150, which means that I still get my 144 hertz. And you guys don't have to see the horribleness that is the super, super laggy run. So, if this is something that I, that can work permanently, then it's something that I'm going to keep doing. And it does actually mean I'll be able to add more mods. I'll, like, a big limiting factor for me for why I don't use some of the mods that I really like is because they just add too much lag. But that might not be a concern at all anymore. So, really, really happy to try this out. I've I've been using it for a few of the games recently. Uh, I've been playing some Black Ops 3 Zombies, and some of the maps are a bit laggy, and... That's due to, like, an engine limitation. I mean, I've got a 4090 card, card, so, like, it's not to do with a limitation of my machine. It's definitely a limitation of the game. Um, so, I've been looking for methods to how to fix that on certain games. And that lo lossless scaling app has been pretty amazing. Um, so, I thought, do you know what? Let's see if I can make it work for Isaac. I was like, oh, it won't work because the game's hard-coded to be, like, set at 60 and it'll break if it's not 60. But... I tried it out and it works. It was a little bit of jankiness in getting it to record uh, correctly. Like, the recording was a little bit iffy to sort of get right. But once I got it sorted, it seemed to be all fine and dandy and working lovely. Um, so, do you know what? This is something that I'm going to potentially stick with. We should really look for secret room here, considering we've got the amount of bombs we do. Um, I thought this is something yeah, I can stick with and potentially... Uh, Potentially make work and then yeah, if, if, if anyone else out there is looking to, to utilize this to play modded on a weaker system Or looking to just get better FPS out of Isaac then yeah, it, it's, it's about five pound It's called lossless scaling. It's got like the the picture for the uh, application is like a picture of a little duck um, Ooh, that's pretty good. I'll take that um so yeah, it's it's well worth grabbing, and it seems to be doing an absolutely fantastic job right now at um, just just making Isaac run smooth as butter. I literally haven't seen Isaac run this smooth since I was playing it repentance only with no mods, because the modding API in Isaac, is, as many of you probably already know, just sucks real, real hard. Um... By the way, as well, if you're wondering why I just gained 5% planetarium chance, I am using a, um, I'm using a new mod, which I'll actually go into the description of now, um, one moment, and see if I can give you guys a bit of a idea of exactly how it works. Like, I don't remember the specifics, but basically it's just called uh, planetarium chance expanded. Um, we get a 5% chance for no hitting a floor. 
we get a 2.5% chance for entering a treasure room but not grabbing the item, and we get a 2.5% chance for skipping a boss item. So no hitting floors as we just did there actually gives us a reward now. 5% planetarium chance. It's not a lot. It's not a guarantee of a planetarium. And obviously, we're not going to be guaranteed to be no hitting a bunch of floors in a row or anything like that. But it's just that little bit of extra chance. And the main reason I went for it is, for one, planetariums are fun, but they're quite rare. Um, and for two, it's like... One of those things where there's so many new modded planetarium items that I very rarely get to see on my runs, and I wanted a way to see them more in a in, in way that's kind of somewhat legit, and I'm not sort of just cheating or cheesing to get them, and I feel like this is a good way of doing it. I think no hitting the floors, it's kind of weird that, like, in Isaac, there's no real benefits for no hitting anything. Like, Enter the Gungeon has, obviously, the, the mastery rounds that you get for no hitting bosses. But Isaac, apart from not getting hit on red health, doesn't really have any benefits for no hitting. So I kind of like the idea of adding that in. Um, for, for my question of the day, what's, what sort of a system like that that you'd like to see expanded in Isaac? And if you have an idea for how to expand it, what would that be? Because I think there's a lot of potential systems in Isaac that could be tweaked, reworked, and expanded to make them, like, the most out of them. Um, I, I, I am getting slight RSI from anti-grav at the minute from tap firing, but I will never not tap fire, right? I think this is secret room. I'm going to gamble and say that it is. Yeah, there you go. We've got plenty of bombs to work with right now. Ooh, plenty of money to work with as well. I'm even going to bomb you in the hopes that we get, yes, exactly what I was looking for. A little bit of money because now our shop is viable. Um, we only have one key at the moment, though, which isn't ideal. But yeah, this is, it, it, it's honestly, this feels weird, the game being this smooth. Like, I, I've never obviously seen 144 uh, Hertz be in effect while playing Isaac. I've, I've never seen that before. So this is really, really strange feeling, but also amazing. I cannot believe I didn't get hit there. That was an absolute miracle. <laughs> I was sure that I was going to get hit because of all the webbing slowing me down there, but... We made it out alive. I do like the fact that I can anti-grav it up in situations like this and with these spiders and try and have them uh, come my way. I like that a lot. I actually really like anti-grav as an item. I think it's an underrated item. So I, I think I do get money for picking up uh, for picking up hearts. So it's actually kind of worth me taking self-damage and picking up that red heart to get some extra money with this trinket that I've got. I think it's two to four coins for every red heart that I pick up, so... It's worth it. Come on, extra key. Come on, extra key. There you go, baby. Knew you had it in your game. I knew you had it in you. But honestly, I'm genuinely so excited for this. Like, if they, if this works, like, visual quality in terms of what I'm seeing. Because I kind of thought that with, with um, upscaling the game, there'd be a bit of blariness. Or especially on four times, because you can do times two, times three, or times four. Obviously, each one being times two, doubling your frames, times three, tripping your frames, times four, um, quadrupling your frames. And I thought at times four, we'd see some visual, like, fidelity reduction. Um, I, I thought we'd see some, like, blaring or streaking sort of thing. But honestly, I don't notice literally any difference in how the game looks. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really seeing any difference. And that, that excites me a lot. Um, it means this, is, this might be something we can keep. More options. Great idea that we went to the shop first here as well. Very happy about that. Um, having an item selection is going to be really nice here. I don't know when we're going to pop our R key, by the way. It'll probably be once we get to the womb. I tend not to go all the way and then pop R key, just because you don't get that many items going to the end of the floor, apart from once you get to the very last floor. Really? The, these, these are what you're going to give me? I guess I'll take giant cell, but not, not the best of the best there, I've got to admit. Ooh, golden pill, though. I will take that in a heartbeat. Addicted... I a wizard. And pills. Power pill. I should probably do the boss first before spamming on this thing. Just in case. Because I don't want to get a health down and then have to fight the boss. Um, I'd rather have the boss out the way with first. Uh, so let, let's go do the boss now. I do have uh, Are You a Wizard still activated here. Which is going to be a little bit tricky. But I'm just going to go for it. Oh, it's actually a really, really easy boss for us as well. Yeah, there you go. I'm not going to use all my bombs here. I'm just going to use that, that one there. I managed to kill that, that pooter there while he was over the top of that box, which meant that none of his shots did anything, which was really, really nice. Okay. I can actually get this guy to just walk into my tears if I get it right. But there you go, we got him. I'll grab that soul heart as well. Thank you. And we get Dad's Dip. Uh, pretty decent. I'm not going to go Devil Deal here. I think I'm going to take my chances. 
And we'll keep playing on this thing and see if we can get anything good out of it. Holy shit. Balls of steel, lovely. Bit of half going on. I knew a health down was coming. I could just feel it. Lots of fish oil, that's good. I think fish oil is tier size. Yes, it is. Another balls of steel, explosive diarrhea. Amnesia. Ooh, we got a gulp. That's lovely stuff. I don't think we have an extra trinket on this floor at the moment. Another health down. Honestly, we're getting balls of steel so regularly, I really don't mind. There you go. That was overall not ideal. Like, we, we got a lot of health out of it, but we did lose two red heart containers, which isn't ideal. We did get some tier size, which I'm pretty happy about, and we are still on one heart container, so it's not all bad. I think we're I think we're mostly okay here. Um and we'll just keep on moving on. I'm just gonna quickly check my Discord, because I've got a message incoming and I'm not sure who it could be from. Um one second. Right, we are good to go. We are good to go. But yes, we have this R key ready for if things get hairy, if we start taking too much damage. But as I said, I'll probably pop the R key the moment we um, we finish Mum's heart. Um, oh, uh, Mum's foot even, sorry. Because uh, I think that the womb flaws aren't going to be super useful. Especially considering we've got... Um, we've, we've now got, what's it called? Uh, more options for item rooms, which we're not going to get on those later flaws. I might as well just... just rather than artificially expanding the run by an extra sort of 15 20 minutes just take the r key once it becomes sort of more relevant and we can have we're at the point where we can have more items because obviously we're not going for completion marks obviously normally you'd probably wait a little longer and try and get an extra completion mark out of it but we're past that point now this is a dead god save file by the way i don't know how many of you know considering um i know quite a lot of you nowadays are new uh, i did get dead god legit this is this is um a, co a copy and pasted save file from my legit dead god that i got um and I, I got that on my channel as well i went through um and got dead god uh on youtube so if anyone is like wanting to see me actually go for completion marks and aren't as interested in these um these style runs or the showcase runs then there is a big big backlog of content available um corpse flowers are real good here we'll take that um yeah there's, there's a big backlog of content um out there for you guys to peruse i mean honestly i, I think i've got like Probably about 1,500 Isaac episodes across across the different versions of Isaac. I'm becoming something of a northern lion in terms of my amount of Isaac content backlog. Um, so, for people that want it, it's there. And honestly, I do actually get comments... Oh, that was a bit of a bad hit. I do actually get comments on occasion for people that are going back and watching my old content. It's cool to see. It's cool to see. Probably want another key to get in there if I can. And got a tinted rock there? No, it's not tinted rock. I thought it was. <sighs> Need to take care of this guy soon because he does some shenanigans. I don't like the spewing he does because it's so unbelievably random. And then you need to calm yourself. Corp flower, by the way, if you don't know what it does, uh, it gives us a long-lasting poison that we can inflict on enemies. And those enemies that are poisoned will produce blue flies that will attack other nearby enemies. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, the Hierophon, ooh, very nice. Um, I'm going to hold off on popping that until we get another red heart, because otherwise, I'm, you, you know me, I'm going to lose it straight away. But yeah, this is actually potentially a pretty good test of this whole lossless FPS thing, because on an Arky run, there's a decent chance, there's a decent chance you get some wacky going on, so the FPS could end up being low, um, naturally, and uh, we can see if it's uh, supporting the game. We did get a Void Beggar. Hmm. Um, a Void Beggar. We also got this guy. This guy takes stats off us and can reward with a random item. It's pretty risky because our stats... I don't know. There's some stats he could take which I wouldn't mind. But if he took speed or like luck or even shot speed, I wouldn't be too pleased. I think I'm probably going to leave him. I will bomb him though. And open up a random portal once I've done this room. Ooh, new mushroom enemy. Don't know what uh, what mod that's from. Is that, is that just a fiend folio enemy that's really rare or something? This is a fiend folio room. I just don't recognise that guy at all. Like that, this must must be like a really rare enemy or something. So yeah, I, I do not recognise that guy. Okay. Um. Right. So let's go. We'll bomb him and see if he opens up a portal to the secret room, which is what I'm hoping for. There you go, baby. He did exactly that. Come quickly around here and poke that. 
for eight seconds. I never really like that one. It's not not ideal. I'll grab that though, see if I can get some money for the shop. Unfortunately not, but a bit of extra devil deal chance is rather nice. And I'm gonna go and do my um my ferryman, I think. Even if we don't successfully get the item from the ferryman challenge, we will at least get some consumables, which especially keys right now we're kind of lacking on. And we could also earn some of our money back. I think the ferryman, it's pretty cheap for what you can get out of it. I really think it ought to be 15 at least, if not 20. Um, just because of how strong it can be. Even if you don't get the item at the end. There you go. No, thank you, troll bomb. Like, you'll see this guy. We'll come out here, we save him, and he produces uh, some keys and a bomb. Which, a key is exactly what I was looking for, so that's great. Not, uh, not pleased about this room, really. I'd be surprised if my, my little baby survives this. Okay, we should be okay now. You can see the blue flies that guy's producing. It, they will not attack him, they'll only attack other enemies. But there's another one saved. Some of the rooms, by the way, are pretty unfair. Um, you can get some of these rooms that, like, it's it's very, very difficult to save the ghost in. I, I, I think a lot of them are pretty easy, but there's, like, four or five of them, mainly the trap-based rooms, that are really, really difficult. What the absolute fuck was that? I didn't know that's what that enemy did. <laughs> so we lost that one. I did not know that's what that enemy did. I thought it shot backwards, not forwards. Oops. Ooh. I'll take that, thank you. What are you uh what are you latching onto over there? What's What's this? I'm gonna pop my Hierophant thing here now because we've got two Oh, don't know what happened there. Oh, of course, I've got this thing where I pick up red hearts and get coins. I was very confused by that for a hot second there. Very confused by that indeed. Oh, Lord. Okay, this is an evil, evil room. Because not only have I got to save this guy, he's on a delay. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? The trap rooms are really difficult. There's not a guarantee. But I think we got our money's worth, even with 10 cent out of that. And the fact that we popped a golden heart and got more money back anyways, it just, it just goes to show, doesn't it? It just goes to show. Right, we didn't go into our shop, so let's quickly go back and check out our shop. I honestly don't know what's going on with... Um, with extension cable as to why it's uh, why it's zapping towards that door. There's there's there's, there's some invisible fella attached to us here that I, I don't I don't know. I mean, happy to have it. It just seems to stay at the door where like whatever the last door we exited from is. Which it's it's weird, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh wow! Like this is every penny. Bad trip. Of course it was bad trip. Cool. Okay, that was a decent room. We got some good money back as well. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not I'm not gonna complain about uh whatever the hell's going on with the extension cable right now. Ooh, nice one. We got the uh we got the electric mozzie. The first time seeing this uh this version of Mozzie. I do not know what his attack patterns are. I am very, very worried. Honestly, Mozzie is one of the bosses I found to be the most difficult of the new ones. So we're probably going to lose our burn heart here. But this is really cool though. Honestly, the amount of electricity based enemies that are in this room right now. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. I'm shitting myself, but I'm loving it. Oh, look at that. Look how cool that is. <laughs> I mean, I lost a lot of health, but that was pretty awesome. Marbles here is decent. I do wish it would gulp the one you're currently holing. Meteorites will passively fall from the sky in uncleared rooms. Each meteorite at a random position explodes an impact and burn enemies, varies in damage, and they can't explode you. That's pretty good. Modeling clay is also really nice here, but I think I'll take this. Unfortunately, not the room I was hoping for, but we got an item straight away, so I'm not too miffed about it. Good old eternal chests. Rosary. Potentially good. Okay, unfortunately didn't get what we wanted out of that, but I think we'll take our earnings and go. Um, yeah, not not the best of flaws, but decent. I Like, I, I'm always a little miffed when I end up getting a, um, a room with no actual angel items in it. But then if I do end up getting an actual angel item from the eternal chest, I'm like, okay, that's not so bad. But yeah, this trinket, gonna be decent for us. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure these shoot, so let's be wary of that. 
Oh my goodness. Our health's still looking very, very nice as well here. I was a bit worried after that uh, mozzie fight, because the mozzie does do some crazy stuff. I mean, I think that was my first time ever fighting that version of mozzie, so particularly that one was going to hit me a lot, because I just didn't know what to expect. There was a lot going on, um, especially with the ads that they were spawning. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because we're still in good health, and it was, it was fun to see a new, uh, fun to see a new, a new boss. But the fact that that has a different version for each type of floor that it shows up on is really cool, actually. That's a lot of extra effort to go to just to fit in with the theming of the game, and honestly, that's got to be one of my biggest things I love in modding is when modders go the extra mile to fit the vanilla theme. Like, I, I want my mods to feel like they belong in the game. Like, I there is some some here and there that I don't mind being a little outside of the scope of the game or outside of the sort of theme, but I'd really prefer if, um, if modders would, like, try to stick with the original theme of the game. It's why... Ooh, okay, thank you. So it's a book, at least. It's a book. Um... It's why I actually get quite annoyed with um, that Darkest Dungeon is one of them. Like, Darkest Dungeon is an absolutely fantastic game. Ooh, lovely. Unfortunately, we're not quite activated on that yet, but getting rid of that burn heart will actually activate it. Um, yeah, Darkest Dungeon, a brilliant game. It's got an amazing, absolutely amazing modding scene. But I tell you what it does have, a just redonkulous amount of anime mods. I mean, fair enough you like anime, but does every single aspect of what you enjoy have to be anime? Like, why are there so many anime mods? What's going on? Are you guys okay? Like, people can enjoy what they want to enjoy. I'm not saying that they can't. Um, I'm not going to pop that because I'd rather get Dark Princess Crown activated. Like I said, people can enjoy what they, what they want to enjoy. I'm not going to dispute that. If you want to have an anime mod, that's fine. But I just I just don't understand why there's so many. Why there's so, so many. Like, I just... I'm... Like, I quite like uh, The Binding of Isaac. I'm not going to... I know The Binding of Isaac isn't exactly an overarching theme of design such as anime. But... Yeah, I like Binding of Isaac. I don't need every single game I play to be themed around and modded around the Binding of Isaac. Or, for like, if I was into just, like, regular, like, TV cartoons. Like, I don't know, like, the style of American Dad or something like that. It doesn't mean I... I just because I enjoy that a lot, it doesn't mean that I need every single aspect of every game and media entertainment piece that I consume to be in the same style and theme as that. I just... I don't get it. I don't get it. It just, it feels really, especially in Darkest Dungeon. I mean, Darkest Dungeon is at the point now where there is so many anime mods that you can basically convert the entire game into basically just anime sprites. But what I was going to say is, like, in, in a lot of games that do that, it just, it, it's this really weird, like, juxtaposition of, of what the game normally should look like and then the anime additions that have been added to it like it's it's a, it's a weird blend like i said darkest dungeon does somewhat have that issue because obviously some parts of the game aren't fully resprited but most of it is to the point where you can pretty much make the entire game into anime if you wish um so i guess in that sense it's not as bad but when it's like oh you've got a, like a bunch of anime characters but all the enemies and items still look like darkest dungeon it's just like what well, why does that not just like irk you oh, the game's really forcing health down my throat right now isn't it I guess I'll take it. Dark Prince's Crown. I'll make you work eventually, but right now it's not the time, apparently. Just looking for my item room and potentially another key right now so I can use the shop. Yeah, it's it's been something that has perplexed me since the end of time. I just I just don't get it. Because obviously this game has it too. There's all the, like, the Nico, Isaac mods. There's the Toho conversion mod and all that sort of stuff. And it's... People can do what they like. I ain't, I ain't disputing that. If you want to make the whole game into anime, that's fine. You do you. I just don't get why. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I need to know what, what, what drives you to need to do that. Like, that's, that's my, that's my biggest question. The why is there, is there any of you out there that are, that are anime mod downloaders? I'm, I'm interested. I'm genuinely interested to know. It is, it is curious to me. It's very curious. Can you, can you stop moving? Man, the RSI is hitting hard right now. I need to just not 
not tap fire for a while. You don't actually need to tap fire with this, I just prefer it. Um, ooh. I'll go with that. I know it gives us a bit of a tears down, but... Or it gives us an absolutely massive tears up. I'm not really sure what happened there. It definitely said it gives a tears down, but that definitely gave us a pretty big tears up, so I guess I'm not going to complain. I guess I'm not going to complain. Yeah, and now I can clickbait the hell out of this video with, like, I fixed Isaac lag with this one simple trick. <laughs> I might make a I might make a tutorial on on how to use it the um, if people would like that it's it's pretty simple it's pretty self explanatory I don't think it needs much of a tutorial but if people want one then I I can make one it's it's pretty easy to set up um, like there's a little bit more complexity to it if you want to record while using it uh, but most people obviously aren't gonna have that issue right oh I I really. Really here. I wish there was a mod for um for fixing this guy. The fact that like the pooters sit behind him is is really frustrating. But yeah, I think after this I'm gonna go like because this seems like it's really successful so far. I'm gonna go and re-download a bunch of mods that I've disabled due to lag. Um just because I can have them now and not have to worry about it. Because the lag is no more essentially. Ooh, nice, I gulped my trinket. Awesome. Right. You are taking care of Mr. Christmas Tree. Soul Heart there. Soap Box is pretty decent. Good old Angel deal here. Pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty good. I guess I guess I'll bomb you for the extra Angel chance. I'm not gonna go for a, a Mega Certain kill, but. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed that baby. Calm down, you. And now he's poisoned, so he's producing flies, which killed that other dude. Lovely. We've not got crazy damage right now. It does. It looks like we've got a lot more than we have because of our tier size. We've not got crazy damage right now. I did get a key there, so I'm going to go quickly back to my shop and see if there's anything worthwhile in there. We're taking a bit longer on this run, but I'm like, why not Why not play this one out and try and get the most out of it if we're going to be uh, having a lovely old time with Arky later on? I would very much like one of these, but... I guess for now, I'll just take that and move on. We got a couple of floors left, two floors left before we uh, pop up our, our key. We'll take the negative first of all as well, so we get the damage bonus for the rest of the next floor. By the way, one thing to note is I am still using the Isaac Rebalanced mod, um, and the Isaac Rebalanced mod does in fact slightly tweak the R key. The R key now, once you've used it, after that point, all damage is a full heart. Which, in my opinion, is a very, very small nerf, so it's not that big of a deal, really. Um, but yeah, all all damage taken after ha having used Arky essentially acts as if you're on the wound. Ooh, lump of coal, nice. Which I think is a good change. Right. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, man. All stats up when entering a new floor. That, considering we have Arky, is pretty tasty. Pretty tasty indeed. If we can find an Emperor card, then I will do an additional floor before I uh, Arky just to get the extra stats. But that's that's going to be pretty nice for when we uh, yeah, I knew it was going to hit me. Going to be pretty nice for when we when we do Arky because we'll be getting a lot of stats very quickly. A very very good item there. What mod's that from actually? I don't know what Karma levels from. I am not entirely sure, because I thought it was from God Mode, but I've got God Mode disabled right now. Um, yeah, I was, just, I was just about to say about that as well. God Mode, I do have disabled at the moment. I'm, I'm going to wait until it gets balanced a little more before permanently adding it to my series, because in my opinion at the minute, it's it's very unbalanced, and it's, it's, it's making runs not as fun by giving me too many items, which sounds stupid, because obviously more items usually means more fun, but I just feel like it's kind of... I'm getting it illegitimately, and I don't deserve the items that I'm getting, because there's these new item rooms that add, like, double items or triple items sometimes. I just feel it's a bit cheap, 
Um, so I'm going to wait until they get balanced and, and off fixed. I still think they're potentially broken. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. It might, it might be intended, but I can't imagine it is. Ooh. Curse of the tower, you say. Curse of the tower, you say. Do I have any bomb upgrades right now? I don't. So Curse of the Tower isn't really my bag right now because I don't have any bomb upgrades. If I had bomb upgrades, I'd probably take it. Good. Beautiful stuff. Charge key. We're not that we need the charge key, but we do need the key. We don't need the charge. Just the key. But yeah, I'm curious to see uh, if the rebalanced Isaac mod gets any new updates and new changes to existing items. It'd be cool to see. Right. Ooh, there's creep on the floor that I didn't realise. We've got the Page of Virtue here, so we've got one Wisp that permanently... Like, if, if it dies, it instantly respawns as another Wisp. I actually really like that item. I think it's really cool. Head our way towards the second secret room here, because that's most likely where the boss is. We got him poison producing flies for us. Basically, it turns it turns poisoned enemies into a, like a, a rotten baby familiar. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like the fact that we have lump of coal now as well. Just a shame that lump of coal doesn't like work on time rather than range. Because it worked on time, you could actually have it where um, where you could keep them in the air with anti grav and they'd grow in size. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, dude. This. Okay, I don't know how I managed to kill him there, but... Oh, well. I've still got our item room back over there. That's a tiny, tiny boy. That's a little man. And here we've got... Oh, this is one of my rooms. This is a really cool room, actually. So, basically, the way this works is, if you slide on through, when you teleport to the different teleportation points, it destroys the fires and gives you a chance for soul hearts. Uh, we want to be going for that one there. Yeah, there you go. It's a really, really cool... This is one of my uh, my secret room rooms. And I tried to make them. You can see if, if you want to know if it's one of mine, it'll say TM. So you, at the bottom you see, see it says 101 TM rare secret rooms 62. I tried to make my, my rooms, especially the second secret rooms, all themed around different floors. And um, I wanted to make them all like a little bit different. So I think that one's one of the more unique ones uh, because it's like... There's a chance you just get nothing, and there also is a chance that they spawn as purple fires and do some damage to you. But if you, if you figure out the room once you walk in, because I think a lot of people would walk into that and think, "Oh, that's a pointless room," or "Oh, I have to use bombs to get anything out of this." But if you actually use the teleporters correctly, the teleporters destroy the fires and give you a little bit of extra stuff if you manage to get a soul heart. I think it's pretty nice. The world. Quickly grab that and use it. One second. Nice. I'm going to keep the world on me for now. Oh, dude. That was a mega champion. The Wayfair. I mean, that 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 alleviates the whole concern I was talking about earlier with uh, Arky doing full heart damage. Completely alleviated now. Right, we've got some good stuff. Away we go, baby. Away we go. Unfortunately, a boss item we ain't getting. But we do get some planetarium chance for having left the boss item, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, so now it, like with this planetarium chance, it's fairly reasonable to get yourself up to 11%. I think f and no hitting the first two floors is not inconceivable. But you'll see now we'll get like 2.5% additional for not taking the boss item. We get our all stats up there. We'll pop our world card. Thank God I had that world card because I know that the entire end of that room down there is completely pointless apart from the shop. And I ain't even got money for the shop right now, so I ain't going down there. I love the fact as well that um, the corpse flower adds like a crazy long... Um, Crazy, crazy long amount of poison. By the way, do you, do you guys know what the corpse flower is in real life? The corpse flower is like weird. 
It's, it, it's very, very strange. So, the corpse flower gets its name for uh, reasons you may be able to understand already. Ooh, bit of infamy. I don't mind that. Um, and we get ourselves Isaac's heart. Are you kidding me? Um, and pot of gold. Um, it gets its name from the distinct smell that it makes when it blossoms. So, the corpse flower only um, only blossoms, is blossom the right word? But it, it, it only only produces its flower, it only opens, like, once every so many years. I can't remember how many years it is now, but it's it's, it's once every while. Oh, hello. It's been a while since I've seen you. Uh, yeah, it's it's once in a, in a very long while. It, it doesn't do it very often, and it only opens for about 24 hours. And in that 24 hours, it literally smells like death. It literally smells like a rotting corpse for that entire time. And it's this spectacle that people go and see. But it, it's it's very, very interesting. Like, it's the same with, like, cicadas. Like, the, the world has so many of these things where it's like, here's this plant or creature that, like, is dormant for years and years and years and then comes out for, like, five seconds and then dies. <laughs> like, cicadas are exactly like that. They'll, they'll like... L like burrow underground for for literally like seven eight years and mature and they'll come out for like a week mate and then die <laughs> and it's like uh okay what was the what was the point in that exactly randy the snail baby random magic mush baby holy hell we weren't expecting that, were we? We are we are a rather tall boy right now. We are a rather tall boy. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, Isaac's heart, goddammit. <laughs> As if I got Isaac's heart there, that's so annoying. And we'll see what's behind this door. We got another one of you. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this and see what we get out of this. Oh, nice! Quite a lot of extra money. Probably gonna get blown up by one of these explosive coins at some point, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. My God, the rock version of this gives you so much money. It's insane. Look at that, that was wild. Absolutely wild. Now, I think I can afford to give this guy some stats now. You took a whole one look from me, are you kidding? How much stats do you want before you pay out, my guy? I I've, I've committed now. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> I got fungi transformation at least, but that, that, that wasn't really, wasn't really worth it. I gotta say, that wasn't really worth it. I might do an extra room floor here for the stats, to be honest. Alright, we'll take this. Get ourselves some extra damage. Rather nice. I forget we've got pot of gold. I'm wondering why we're getting so many, like, wild varieties of coins here. But it's because we've got the item that does exactly that. Uh, right, next floor. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll potentially see about um, carrying on here. Because you do get quite a lot of stats from doing that. Hello. Unfortunately, not a very good item. It's not terrible, but there's a secret room item. It's not amazing. Um, I guess I'll just take this Soul of Isaac and carry on my merry way. Right, we can... Estimate where the boss is here, so let's just beeline towards where where we think it is. Pretty sure I'll be over near the second secret room over here. Yeah, this is a in terms of like this isn't a crazy wacky run, but in terms of stats, this is a pretty wacky run, and it could only get wackier from here. I knew you were going to do your chasey business. Okay. Ooh, golden penny. I love the golden penny mod. It's so good. 
I'm not actually that bothered about the damage I'm taking right now, just because uh, I've got the wafer and I've got a lot of health. I don't feel like I don't feel like I have the, any any reason to be super concerned, to be honest. Feel like I can just kind of stroll on through, smelling the roses, all that good 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 stuff. Couldn't think of the word for stuff there, which I feel like most of the time it's that you don't think of the word for something else and you call it stuff. Not that you can't think of the word for stuff. Don't think that happens to people very often. Come on, dude. Don't don't do me dirty like this. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god, I evolved that enemy into a much, much worse enemy. Shit. Okay. Water bottle there, thank you. Yeah, here's the boss. I knew I was worth it going around this way. Hello there, good sir. You seem to have a tombstone with you. Dude, this feels so weird, being this late into the run and the FPS being so good. Genuinely feels off-putting. Sadly, a terrible devil deal there. Right, to the next floor. Again, I'll try and speed through this floor to get the stats if I can. Why not? It's not that hard to be speedy when you've got this much damage. Infamy's helping out as well here. Crack that open. Bit of extra damage. Nice. An extra bomb. And maybe I can bomb through here. Nope, that is nowhere that I can go. But yeah, bl having blue map here to give us some sense of direction. It's not always a guarantee that the second secret room is near the boss room, but I'd say there's a 90% chance that it is going to be near the boss room. So it gives us some sense of direction. Only thing is when it does stuff like this where it looks like you're going the right way, turns out you are very much not. So it's easy to accidentally go... A dead end just by virtue of the map looking like you're going the right way for a while and then you're just not. Bow. Okay. Not quite gone the right way here, but we're close. What's going on with you, Mr. Bicey? Chill yourself. Ooh, thank you, Meteor, for opening that up. I kind of forgot to check in there. Not that we need that, thank you. Here we go. That was pretty silly of me. Goddamn, how do we have so few bombs? Should be pretty much fine here. We're definitely not going to be able to skip last phase, I don't think, but I'll try my best. Oh, wait, no. We, we did it. Nice. Right, up we go, and then we'll pop our Arky straight away. Will we get stats for popping our Arky, I wonder? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, indeed, we do. Lovely. Our Planetarium chance got reset back to one, though, which is interesting. Potentially interesting room. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. brainworm. Thank you very much. Leah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of these and go for something else. Unfortunately, nothing amazing, but I will take the king in yellow, which I believe is a reference to um, what's his name, the guy that made Cthulhu. What the hell's his name? Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft. What a what an absolutely badass name to have. Like, I, I swear there's some there's some people that just have like the most fitting names for what they do. Like like 
I'm not big into football, but George Best being like one of the best football players ever. Um, and yeah, like HP Lovecraft, like damn, it's badass. Okay, do you know what? I'm sorry, King and Yellow, but it's smelling time. It do be smelling time. Oh, hello. I mean, also goodbye, but hello. Oh, boss butch error. What happened? <laughs> Oh, didn't see that coming. My bad. We'll take alt path this time around, I think. But this is this has been a successful. Uh, sorry if my mouse is on screen there. I don't know how long that's been there. This has been a very successful test of this uh, lossless idea, though. I'm I'm liking it. It seems to be working very splendidly for us. Very splendidly indeed. I shall reach out to my fellow Isaac creators um, about this, I think. I say that, I'm not really in touch with many people that uh, that, that make Isaac today. Like, I talk to Hutz and uh, Alexa and BD1P on occasion, but all three of those, he, like, don't do Isaac super regularly. And Hutz does, but he doesn't do modded Isaac super regularly. Um, at least heavily modded enough to, to cause lag. To be fair, I should just try reaching out to some of the uh, some of the other Isaac YouTubers like Matt Man and stuff and see if they want to do any collab stuff because everyone seems pretty open to it and I'd definitely be down for it. It'd be fun. It would be quite fun indeed. We did just get Red Stew by the way, so we are absolutely speeding right now. We got a loaf of bread. Sort of spawns mini Isaacs, I like it. Um, multiplier. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that as well. Beautiful, our damage is soaring right now. Absolutely soaring. We got the boiler here as well. Try and keep that mirror alive, because I would like to potentially end this off by doing mother. That could be fun. I'd like to also try and see some of the additional boss butch uh, enemies potentially on these alt flat floors. Obviously not this particular one because I don't think this one has a boss butch enemy, but you know what I mean. Okay. Let's find our item room. There it is. $3 bill. I will take that in a heartbeat. Thank you. I'm gonna do my uh, do my mirror room straight away just to get out of the way with because it can be a little more difficult with the mods that I have on, even with a build like this. I still see the risk and it scares me. God damn, the meteorites are just an absurd size now. We got it. Eh, I could maybe go for the boss actually. It's a it's a huge risk this, but I feel like there's a good chance we kill whatever boss it is pretty instantaneously. So by pretty, I mean literally instantaneously. Okay, thank you. Didn't expect it to be quite as instantaneously as that. <laughs> So I'll hide out of that bad boy. Back up through our mirror room we go, and we'll make our way back to the boss. And we'll have to fight the boss again in the regular room this time around, because we've not actually fought him properly yet. We've only fought him in the mirror realm. I'll also bomb my mirror now as well to get some extra reflected item chances, because I can afford to take them right now, so why not? I feel like it makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I guess I said, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely be down for doing, uh, doing some more collab stuff, like co-op Isaac and stuff with some people. I just need to know who to who to reach out to and who would want to do it. Cause I'm still I'm still a relatively small Isaac creator. I've been doing it a while. I'm, I think I'm pretty well established in the Isaac scene, but I am still one of the smaller creators. There you go. It wasn't the same boss, weirdly.
Um, we got killing enemy sometimes grants the effect of a random devil deal item. Lovely stuff. And there's fucking Abel. As it was prophesied, Abel is in all item pools now. As it was foretold in the ancient scrolls, Abel is everywhere. Right, let's speed up a little bit so we can try and keep uh, our damage burners from Red Stew as long as possible. Not that we particularly need it, but we did indeed get the uh, the Grotto though, which is pretty cool. Um, there's Abel once again. Unfortunately, an active item there. Not what we wanted. Pop up Mole Fella. At this point, most consumables, apart from maybe some additional keys, um, are obsolete. Especially money. We don't need any more money than we have right now, I don't think. This is all about speed now, baby. It's all about the speed. Oh my goodness. You're going to throw a sacred orb our way as well? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Captain? Just give us the gosh darn greatest run ever and throw, throw a lovely bit of... Uh, a little bit of sacred orb in there. Why not? Why the hell not? Hellfire, lovely. We'll grab a gift card real quick here and uh, go into the secret room to pop that and see what quality for the secret room item it may give us. Gift card. Oh, that's not how that works. I'm stupid. <clears throat> that was a waste of a gift card. I forgot that you had to do it on a pedestal. I thought it would just spawn a mysterious gift. Whoa, that's a that's a that's a big old mushroom right there. What in the what in the hell? That is a big old mushroom. Yeah, bit of a waste there, but eh. I don't think whatever it was was really going to impact the run all that much. <laughs> I think we've gotten what we need. Just let me keep moving. I love the big mushroom, fellas. They're cool. $3 bill doing some cool stuff here as well. Oh. Sorry, didn't get a chance to uh, to say hello to you. God damn it, Abel. <laughs> Leave me alone, Abel. Abel is everywhere right now. He is all. But yeah, that, that that's one thing that I can't say for sure. Is I don't know how strong of a PC you need to make the most out of the lossless scaling mod. Um... It's probably like a decent because I imagine it does use up a decent amount of power to do the upscaling, but I, I don't. I genuinely don't know. Okay, something's going on weird with the map right now. It says there's a secret room below me, but it's also a part of this room. It got confused. Yeah, it got it got it got very confused there about what room was what. I forgive you though, game. You're a goofball, but you're you're a lovely goofball. Especially when we can play a run like this without any lag. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even... Where'd this beam come from? No, thank you on those. Hello, hello. What could this be? Teleport directly to home. Um, fully heal. Spawn an item and a cracked key in Isaac's room alongside 20 other random pickups. I mean... We could go for that. That's That's interesting. But I think we've got plenty of flaws left. I don't think we want to take that right now. I think that would be calling it early, a little too early. Okay, so it looks like we're, we're all out of our thingy now. Bag of crafting? Ooh. Tears gain a small circular laser. This is an item that normally I wouldn't pick up because of the lag, but now... We can see how it goes. Yeah, look at that. Like, like, this is an item that would normally sow chaos into a run in terms of the FPS. It really would. And now, not a worry. Not a worry. Look at that. Just popping it off like crazy. Ain't no FPS drop, baby. I love it. This is the golden era of Isaac modding. Ain't got to worry. Like I said, after this, I'm going to go and explore my... Because I, I have a list of uh, of mods called Mods I Wish I Could Use If There Was No Lag. I've literally been saving this mod for exactly a time, like right now. So I'm going to go and grab that and, and uh, check what mods in there I can, I can install after this. At 
literally, I keep expecting it to lag and then it doesn't. It's weird. Can these guys do their thing, please, so I can kill them? Thank you. Oh, there's a red beam there. Like, I can feel there's a little bit of, like, slowdown, as in, like, I can feel the FPS drops, but it doesn't, it doesn't drop to, like, it drops from 240 to, like, 180. <laughs> um, and here we got... Shade? Nah, we don't need shade. I'll take a little brim, though. Give myself knife piece. Give knife... Two. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't do the, the little searching thing anymore because that just takes way too long. Most of you already know this, but there is new people all the time, so I feel the need to reiterate, because otherwise someone will ask. Although, if you want to ask anyways and boost my comment engagement, feel free to do so. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fret about too many comments. It's never been an issue. Ooh, Parasitoid. Oh my god. We've got 9.51 luck since when? Has that been luck that we've been gaining from the uh, moving to the next floor stats? Probably right. we got Goat Head there. Yeah, this item that's giving this devil deals for a temporary time is pretty nice. Uh, do you know what? At this stage, I reckon I can pop that. Thank you. No point popping it a second time, but it'll waste the money. Yeah, I need to check the recording after this to make sure this still looks okay in the recording as well, but it should. Can these guys land, please? Most infuriating enemy to ever be designed. Someone out of their way to think, how could I waste the most time possible on an OP run? Okay, this was blasting through the rooms. Ain't no worry. I knew this run would get nuts towards the end. I knew it would. Whoa, what we got going? We got like hemolacria going on here? What's, what's, what's happening? Genuinely don't know what's going on here. Prank cookie? Mix that madness in, why not? Okay, we got a lot going on. Oh my god, I got so many Discord messages. What's happening? What is going on? One second. Right, I'm gonna have to pause a couple more times here because I'm messaging back and forward with someone, but we can blast through a couple of rooms in between. Why the hell not? Ooh, we got a library. Oh, wow. Okay, th th this room. This room caused some shit. <laughs> that room. That room even tipped the scales of this. That that was some that was some lag. <laughs> we got bookworm finally. Yeah, that, that room, I don't exactly know what happened there, but. You can see there was some warping there. That's kind of what I was talking about, as in like I was expecting more of that. Um like a slight amount of warping in like the visuals, but it didn't actually look that bad either, either and the, the lag seemed to subside pretty darn fast. I don't know if I can do it mid-recording. I, I, I can turn on the FPS counter. I'm gonna try and do it. This might mess everything up, so I apologize if it does. If I go and draw FPS. Okay, so you guys can see that now. Look, there's the top left. So currently the game is running at 54 FPS in-game, 210. Actually, like what is what I'm what I'm getting, and we can see when we do rooms, it goes down to like 32 FPS normal, which is a hundred on here. You see what I mean about how like this would be borderline unplayable or unwatchable normally, but this sorts it right out. Amazing. Holy shit, I got a lot of items out the back of that. 
throw this. There you go. And there you go. We are going down, baby. We are going down. Only just over an hour. Sorry, I keep having my mouse on the screen, by the way. I need to make sure it doesn't capture that one sec. Right, let's blast out these last few floors. But this is, I think this has been a huge success. This is, like, a really good, like, test case run, considering we're getting 32 FPS in most rooms, which is abysmal for regular, like, play. And it is making it way more playable. Granted, it's not perfect, but it's it's a, he it's a damn sight better than it would be without the mod. 100%. So, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking what we're getting here. And I'm sure the warping and stuff, like, at the, when it, when it's, when the screen is going crazy would be lessened if I was using times two or times three. But I might as well use times four and deal with slightly weird visuals on occasion and get much better FPS overall, right? I think most people would agree. Right, we've killed this guy. Pretty simple and easy. Ooh. Decent item. Dude, we're getting so many temporary devil deal items. Like, I, I genuinely don't even know how many I have. It'd be nice to have a list, potentially, just to, just to see, because it is, it is going wild right now. <laughs> yeah, this is this is just a beeline to mother, because I think this build is gonna absolutely cream crack a mother. Yeah, there you go. This is where you see it when it goes under sixty. So at the minute, the game's at nine FPS. Nine. And my game is carrying it up to 50. <laughs> That's where you start seeing the warping slightly. But even then, like I said, a damn sight better. It doesn't completely solve the lag, but it is... It is a hell of a lot more pal palatable. Like, normally this item, this tech item, I just, I'd, I'd have to have, like, gotten rid of it by now. There's some weird recursion thing going on. Yeah. 9 FPS. Oh, come on. This wasn't even the right way. Wasn't even the right way. Neither was that. We're getting a lot of these Apollyon guys. I'm surprised we're seeing so many of those. Weird. Ooh, hello, big boy. I always forget about those enemies. They show up every now and again. They're pretty rare, but pretty cool. And um, we've got that thing that keeps evolving enemies as well into much... Enemies that take much longer to kill. Hellfire, with this amount of luck, is going crazy. I don't even think we have Hellfire as a permanent item. I think we just keep getting it from the... Um... Oh, my God. Yeah, I think we just keep getting it from the thingy. Look how weird that looks. Oh, it's bending. It's morphing. It's having a hard time. But we're seeing it at 40 FPS and it's weird. I think it's something to do with the firecracker flower, maybe? Or parasitoid? I I I honestly don't know. It has to be it has to be the room right before the boss that this happens, doesn't it? Come on, just just sort yourself out. There you go. Starve a bottomless pit to end it off as well. I'm guessing this'll absolutely destroy this boss. Yeah, in rooms like this, like, when it's not going below 60 FPS, it's barely noticeable that anything's any different. I was hoping I could hold this ball here and then just throw it into her when she spawns, but didn't really work. Kind of worked, actually. Kind of worked. But well, there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy this little uh, key run and a showcase of a new method of removing lag, which I'm pretty happy seems to work pretty goddamn well. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this run thoroughly, as did I, and I'll see you guys in the next one.